That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Hide! Hide. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car! Get in! <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Well, that's not where I expected it to go. <laughs> wow. Well, at least you don't have to worry about taking a shower, I guess. Huh? That... that's... I, I have no choice but to do this? Okay. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photohog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I am so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. <laughs> we still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Sidewalk and the pigeons in my window 
left, left shin. Mask of polish. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blacko last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Oh, uh, Warren. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Wow, that was, um... That's not stuff even I'd wear. But hey. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Wait, why am I looking wow. in there? I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. I'm starting to feel less and less guilty about the money. Do we, oh, there it is, right there. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. I tell you what, if there's some sort of contest that we enter and Chloe or Max gets the reward, we know where most of that money, if not all of it, is going. <laughs> Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Yeah, but you're with her now, Max. Rachel isn't. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Wow. There's the joint. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Well, now you're backing her up now, so. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Huh. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? <laughs> wow. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. I'll leave the high fly on for now. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. <laughs> something I wow. would recommend, but it is one way to Some changes in that one. Hey, what the heck is this? What is the fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Interesting. It was so simple in the moonlight, now it's so complicated. Okay. Well, I guess when you have nothing else to do, you can get around. Yeah, to be honest, I'm actually feeling more confident about the decision I made with the money. I feel sorry for the handicap fund, but... I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to... Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Yeah, oh, jeez. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. What? Okay, I was starting to think that Chloe and Rachel were just really good friends, but I'm now second guessing that... that thought. I... Uh... 
if this is what I think it is, then it's going to be a very goofy, short little scene that's going to leave both of them laughing. Which is kind of what I'm hoping it's going to turn out to be. Because that's how I, that's how I think Max would, would handle the situation. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Because this is going to change a lot of the dynamic in the friendship. Well, I guess you don't know if you don't try, right? Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. All right, that definitely throws my ideas away about how Chloe and Rachel were. Uh, hey, Chloe? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yeah. Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. <laughs> Did you have a boyfriend? So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Ah. <sighs> well, now we're gonna find out. Sounds like you've totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Would that conversation have even come up? If I hadn't kissed Chloe? Cause... Cause I did that out of a joke. But I really hope that we can get to a point where Chloe realizes that soon. I don't want ideas getting planned in her head. Unless there's something in, about Max that I don't know and it's gonna be revealed later in the story or something like that, but... I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Holy crap, that's the jacket! That's the jacket in the picture! I'm pretty sure. Well, why not? Let's get dressed. Not digging the torn sleeves, but hey. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Hmm. Not what I would have expected out of Max, but uh, it's amazing how just a little bit of a, a wardrobe change can really change the look of persons. That doesn't make any sense. How, how a wardrobe change can really change the look of a person. There we go. Eh, you know what, we'll roll with it. Why not? All 
All right, Chloe. I'll see you in a bit. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Okay, is it just a really silly coincidence, or is it strange that as soon as I walked out of the door, right before Max said that, I started smelling some really sweet pork sausage. Like the maple kind. And then after I mentioned that, it just went away. That's really weird. Alright, anyway. Kate! Thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. You're the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. <laughs> you did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. I promise. Okay. That, uh, that struck a heart chord right there. Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Oh god, let's not go here. But I can't take a photo. Yeah, no. That one's not going in. Pinhold! Alright. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, that just creeps me out. That actually really creeps me out. The fact that that's called pinhole. I can't undo that, can I? No, whatever. That actually really creeps me out that that's called pinhole. Because here's the thing. A lot of, um... There are a lot of creeper stories that you can read about where it's basically set up so that you have this infinitesimally small hole in the mirror that you cannot see unless you turn off the light. And when you do, you see this itsy bitsy tiny hole in the mirror that just lights up and it casts a, a circle of light across the room. And if you go behind the mirror, you will end up seeing a camera that is in the exact perfect position so that the light filtering in through um, from the room, through the mirror, into the camera lens. It's basically just seeing the entirety of what you can see through the hole. It's really damn, it's really damn creepy. That's why I'm, that's why that achievement name just put me so on edge right now. You know, I haven't gone through a dying my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. No, I don't think so. You're... Brown hair is perfectly fine, Max. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Yeah, let's give herself a rinse off. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Uh to brush my tooth furs or no? I have to say, the red really does look good on Max. It brings out her eyes. And the blush. <laughs> uh, sure, let's do it. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. That was quick. Alright, whatever. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? I better not go in there. David might be in bed. You. Ew. <laughs> uh. Uh, that pin hold is really making me nervous right now. Hey, it's Joyce. What's the leaflet about? This might be the one time these people are right. 
The end is now. Are you still ignoring his warnings? Did you feel the snow? Witness the eclipse? Seed in the dying animals? The signs are upon you! Arcadia Bay is the final battleground for Perzozu. What? Isaiah 66, 15, 16. For behold, the Lord will come in fire in his chariots like the whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For the Lord will execute judgment by fire. Save your soul today. Repent. Join the Church of Final Revelations this month and get free disp dispensation from hell. Watch us on Arcadia Bay Public Assets Channel 40. Contact blah 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 blah. <sighs> Fear-mongering assholes. I looked at these already. <sighs> Good times. We'll talk to Joyce in a moment. What's the shirt about? Did I just see flies? No, it's just dust. Rather have this bottle in front of me than have to have it from a little Who drinks beer this early around here? David, probably. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Superheroine saves suicidal Blackwell student. Okay. Sounds a little bit biased to me, but... Flash Snow and Freak Eclipse. Apocalypse Sue? Wait, is that entitled The Incident? Oh, man. No, The Independent. I don't want to be famous right. for this. Okay. Uh, why don't we go out back real quick? Because I feel like we'll advance the story if we talk to Joyce. Hey, a bird. Oh, no, wait. This is the... Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. That's the bird I could have saved in episode one, isn't it? There's a lot of birds. What the hell? Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. What the hell is... Well, there's one of the cameras. Why the hell are they... Is someone watching me? Okay, I know that blinds are not exactly known for being straight. Mine are a pain in the butt to keep to keep up all the way, and not have one slide off to the side like that. But that that's actually really creepy. I'm not gonna lie. What is with all the dead birds here? I wonder how these birds died. This is really weird. Is this another methane bubble kind of thing, or what? Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. I would find that amusing if it wasn't for how applicable it is. I think we've had our serene moment. Seriously, why are there all these dead birds? Random basketball up there. Okay. Strange. What is going on with the birds here? Are they running into the wires or something? Ooh, that's cool looking. Okay, getting a little weirded out by uh, the sounds out there. Sights and sounds. <laughs> Still that wine spill, huh? Alright. Looks like a message. To play or not to play? That is the question. I'm gonna let Joyce hear that. Well, you know what I could do? 
is play it and then rewind. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was Fuck. identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Fuck. All right. He is not gonna know. Message deleted. <laughs> Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Problem is, Joyce heard that. Hi, hey, Joyce. How's it going? Uh, mouse? Thank you. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Looking a little tired, but not too bad. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Ah, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Ah. Uh, hmm. I like them both, though. After all that workout, though, I'm going to need some protein. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. Oh, God. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I oh, need you to grab okay. me the actual eggs and the bacon. All right. I can handle that. eggs and bacon. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Hey, as long as it works. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... <sighs> Bacon. Wait, where the heck are the eggs? Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Hmm. <laughs> Squeenax, huh? No, squeen... Sque what? Squeakinax? Okay. I know it's a made-up brand, but I've never... I can open this? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Eh, why not? Uh, where are the eggs? Why are the eggs not in here? I'm, I'm confused. Don't you normally store eggs in the refrigerator, or...? Uh... Where are the eggs? Are the eggs maybe out in the in the garage? No, I can't even go out there. What the? Oh, jeez! Can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Uh. Sure, I can. Bird, be gone! Fly, you fool! Can I take a picture? I'd love to take a picture. Just before he goes. There you go. Ah, that's how we get the picture. Okay. Why not? Be right back, Joyce. Miss Joyce. Hi! There's a mosquito next to my ear. <laughs> Alright, there's a photograph. Cool. Well, let's know there's one less bird. It's dead. If anybody has any idea what kind of bird that actually was, you are more than welcome to comment on that. Because I have no clue about the uh, northwestern bird. Oh. Why would you leave the groceries? Alright, whatever. The it's eggs nice. always come first, as Joyce used to say. <laughs> Alright, here you are. Got some ingredients for you. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. 
Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Now that's an interesting question. Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. <laughs> Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. All right.